Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's video is going to be about a single man survival guide to come into Thailand. Okay, now, motorbike needs a wash, or the motorbike and sidecar needs a wash. I'm going to give it a wash and we're going to have a chat about survival guide. We're going to talk about survival guide for older men coming to Thailand. Now, a survival guide. Now, I've done a couple of videos with regard to uh, internet dating and things like that about coming to Thailand so there's no need to reinvent the wheel if you like so I'm going to put a link up there with regard to the videos that I've done and there's one that I'm going to suggest you have a look at is it's called if you intend having a Thai girlfriend or a Thai partner and there's sort of three videos in one with that one and it goes on for about 30 minutes but it goes on about my experiences I've been I dated uh, a girl that had a job full-time job I dated a girl that was a bar girl and I dated a girl from the internet so I talk quite frankly about my experiences that and so it's worth a watch so I'll give it a look and see what you think but I'm going to explain briefly some of the things that you need to watch out for when you come to Thailand. And let me get your cloth. So what could be simpler? Now, I've lived here now in Thailand for over, over 12 years now. And I've seen a lot of things and it still makes me laugh. Some of the things that go on over here. Uh, now I've got to say, the majority of guys that come over here are 50 plus. So we've sort of lived life and we've got experiences. But I see also many mistakes made by the people who come over here and live here. Hang on, I need to put that up a little bit. I think it's chopping my head off. So I'll just alter the camera a little bit. There we go. So guys making these mistakes, you know, and why do people make these mistakes? Because we've been out of the dating game for so long. The majority of guys that come over here have either gone through a divorce or bereavement and things like that. Been married to the same girl for, for a lot of years and they get out of the dating game. And if wherever country you come from, whether it be America, Australia, Europe, England, you know, it's the same game. And Thailand beats all of them games. It's actually, it's an easy place to fall in love because there are so many beautiful girls and it's like, unlike anywhere else in the world for finding a Thai girlfriend. But the pitfalls and the dangers well, that's why I'm watching this video, to try and avoid some of them. And I'm going to give you some things that you have to avoid when you come over here. Or not avoid, but just be, just be wary of. And if you just listen to a couple of the things that I've got to say, it'll save you an absolute fortune. I know, because I've seen it. And in my early days, the mistakes that I'm going to say that other people make, I've made them also. So I've got to stick my hand up and say, yeah, I've fallen foul to some beautiful, pretty young Thai girls. And I've never lost a lot of money, but whether you lost a lot of money or not a lot of money, it's still, it's a lesson to be learned. So anyway, let's get on with lesson number one. When you first arrive here, do a little bit of research about, about where you're going. So let's say the obvious place that people go to is Pattaya. Now Pattaya, for me, it's like Pinocchio land. There's a price to pay if you go to Pattaya. It's one of the most awe-inspiring places for a, for a single guy there is anywhere else in the world and I've been around the world I spent two years traveling around the world so I've been to many many places and I've got to say there isn't another place like it 
in the world that I've found. And uh, love it or hate it, it is what it is. And it's going to cost you to come to, to Patty. I don't think that you're going to fall in love and everything's going to be rosy in the garden because this girl wants to be with you. Maybe it's in time that would happen, but in the first instance, it's all to do about money. So I've had guys come and talk with me and saying, I just want the Thai girlfriend, but I don't want to be paying anything to maintain this girl. So yeah, good luck with that one. As some of the Thai girl says, love doesn't pay the bills. And in Thailand, there is no such thing as social security or free money, any benefit system, nothing. If you don't work, you don't get anything. So every Thai person from being very young is working. So if you all think you're gonna change the Thai way of thinking, good luck with that, because it's never gonna happen. Now there are guys here who live with their partner and who don't pay, let's say, a salary or an income to their Thai partners. But they're very, very few and far between. And uh, so anyway, let's get started. Let's, where does it all happen? Where does it all begin? Well, the Thai girls, even more so now, are very aware that their services are required. Since the situation happened, Thailand has changed dramatically and it's much, much, much more expensive than it used to be for these type of services. And the girls know this now. They've sort of clicked on because when they used to do all their work online, they discovered there's a big market out there of lonely men wanting female company and guys are willing to pay just to sit and chat to, to these girls. So now they are milking the system. Can you ask any bar owner now in Thailand, they struggle to get the girls because a lot of the girls now are working online and finding that they don't have to come and talk to guys in the bar. You'll also find that the girls are more on the phone in the bars. So, you're a newbie, you've just got off the plane, you've landed in Pattaya. All exciting about going to the bars and having an entertainment and things like that. Now the most common question these girls are going to ask you and bear in mind this is what you'll get all the time is hi, what's your name, where are you from, how long you stay. So what's your name, pleasant enough, where you come from, because they know who has the better pensions, the better salaries, like the Americans, the Europeans, and if you come from poorer countries, then there's like a pecking order. They know who's got the best pensions and they can work on that system. Like if you are from uh, Sweden or Norway, their pensions are very, very good because of the cost of living there. So therefore they get a bigger, much bigger pension than say we do in the UK. Or the Americans with a social security. So they already know all of this lot. You know the girls talk to each other and they find out all of these things. So that's, what's your name, Where's you, where you come from? Two innocent questions, but it's a, it's a situation. They're digging for information also. Also, when you turn up as a newbie, you, if you come from one of these European countries and you're white, because we don't have much sun, sunshine. So the whiter you are, the newer you are here. And the girls know that. They have a sort of scoring system as to 
if you're wearing socks with flip-flops, you know, if you're white. So therefore, they can suss out if you're a new guy or not. And then the third question, how long you stay here for? And the, and the answer that they're looking for, I've just arrived, I've just come today. Now they know that you just started your holiday so you've got a, a wallet full of cash. So they'll spend a little bit more time trying to extract that cash from you. If you say, I'm here for two weeks and I've been here a week, well then you're a little bit more streetwise and they know that you're a little bit more streetwise because you've probably been burnt a couple of times already by the Thai girls. So therefore, you know, there's another plan that they'll have for you. But they're constantly seeking out information about you and your stay and how long you want to stay here for. And when you're new, because you won't know the prices and things like that, they'll charge you a fortune. And if you don't know how it works, for some pretty young thing that you're going to be spending the rest of your, the night with, in comparison to the girls that you could probably get in your own country, you're going out with a stunning girl and it's whatever price they ask is a, is a very reasonable price when you first come here because you think, wow, look at what I've got on that arm. She's stunningly beautiful and she's with me tonight. But it's purely financial. They're going to try and get as much money as they can. And as long as you can get your head around that, then that's no problem. But they, they, will, they will give you a good time and uh, you know, you'll be over the moon because as you're a newbie, you've probably gone through a very bit of divorce and feeling anger. And now this beautiful young thing is sat with you and you're having a good time. And the girls know how to give you a good time. You know, they're always laughing and joking. It's called the land of smiles. It's not called the land of smiles for nothing. Invariably, Thailand is a very happy place. And the girls are happy to be with you. Because one, they know they're going to get some money. But now, with the internet, things like that, the girls are a lot more fussy and a lot more picky and can charge a lot more than what they used to do in, in the days gone by when I first came here. So, that's one of the complaints that I hear from guys the prices and the fact that the girls don't seem to show much interest in, you know, in the guys. Some of them do, some of them don't. You know, some of them are waiting for, you know, maybe it's a, a boyfriend uh, that's going to come back and pick them up or somebody said, I'm going to promise to come back and see you. So the Thai girls get hurt and all of this lot as well. It's not just the, the foreigners. So... So you've negotiated your price, you've taken the girl and then you're walking around with this trophy on your arm thinking, wow, look at me. <laughs> you know? And then you look at all the other girls with the other foreigners and you think, oh, she's nice, she's nice, oh, look at her, wonder, wonder, wonder where she got, sorry, wonder where he got her from. And this is it. Other guys look at you with the girls and you look at other guys with the girls and it just goes on because around every corner there's a stunning girl and you're here for your two weeks or three weeks to spend and have a good time and then whilst they're with you they're constantly probing you to try and find ways of extracting money from you it's like if you, if you show an interest, you know, with, with the girls and the girls will come round selling dresses or s selling bags and shoes and things like that. So invariably the girl that you're with, I say, oh, go, I go, I go, look, I go, look. 
And because us guys always want to please the girls that we're with. Oh yeah, I'll buy for you, I'll buy for you. So the bought the, you're buying them a dress. Okay, another couple of hundred baht. A pair of shoes, two or three hundred baht, a bag. Something like that, because you want to please them. That's, that's the guy mentality. We want to please the girls that we're with. So, so there's another couple of hundred baht. On top of the bill that you paid to be with this girl for the evening. And then you ask them, is there any way you want to go? Now that is one of the fatal questions. Never ask the girl where she wants to go. Because what she'll do, she'll take you to a friend's bar. And she'll say, oh look, these are my friends, these are my friends. Oh, I haven't seen these for a long time. And you'll get coerced into buying them a drink. A lady drink, which is now about 150 baht per lady drink. So now if there's two or three girls or, or more at 150 baht to drink, there's a lot more money. Because the girls do the same. If they get a boyfriend who wants to take them around various bars, they'll bring them to their bar. And the, the favour is reciprocated where somebody else will pay for the drinks for that girl at their bar. So there's another little, not scam, it's just a way that they help you to part with your money. So then, they know they might be on a limited time. So they will pull your heartstrings and they'll do everything they can to get you to stay with them for a long time. And there's nothing wrong with that because at the end of the day, it's money. It's money for them and it's a good time for you. But I would say two or three days. There's many Thai vloggers that are on there saying the two or three day rule. And that works very well because after two or three days you can become very, very attached to these girls. And they know that. And they can pull a few more heartstrings. Oh, my mum's sick, the dog's sick, the buffalo's sick. Can you help out in some ways? I don't want to do this anymore. So then you're with them, and then let's say you find one that you like, really, really like, and you want to stay with them for the two weeks that you're with them for. And then next time it's due to go home. Now the girl comes with you to the airport. And why do they come to the airport with you? To part, part your last remaining bath out of your pocket. Because let's face it, you don't want to change that, do you? Back into your own currency. And why not give it to your Thai girlfriend? Because she's, you've already agreed to pay for the taxi fare for her to go home. So she comes to the airport with you, bearing in mind she's already sussed out how much money you probably have left. And the fact that she'll try and take your last remaining bath with the tears. And I, I'm not doubting some of the tears are genuine, you know, they're upset if you've had a good time together and you promise that you'll send them money. And maybe as you do, maybe as you don't. But if you're sending them money, I would say you're one of many who's also sending them money. Because I've seen it so many times. There isn't, there isn't a single girl that I know that worked in the bar industry is just getting a salary or an income from one guy. If they're good looking, then they're playing the field and they're getting much, much more money. And they'll keep talking to you when you go back to your home country. And then I've done another video called The Patio Blues. Now give that a look. I'll put it in the link it into the description. Now the pat of your blues is once you return home, back to your home country, you just can't forget about pat Because you've had such a good time, such a good feeling. It's magical, it's paradise, and it is paradise for, for a guy. And it's welcoming and everybody's happy. You've had a really good time. And all you want to do is go back. 
you want to relive the moment. And of course that's going to cost you and you're going to have to save up again for a few more months or years to go and do that again. But that's just a quick explanation of the dangers of being a newbie in Thailand and the girls will take full advantage of it. So if you want to talk about any of the things that I've talked about here, it's only been really one I know, but it's such a big one, I do a, a phone consultation service for $10 for an hour. And if it's two hours, it's still the same $10. And if you get the information you want, then you pay. But if you don't get the information you want, then you don't pay. How fair is that? How, because I, I know what the score is over here. And I can help you save thousands and thousands of baht just by a little bit of common sense and the fact that I know what's going on around here. And I help people with visas, I help people with properties and things like that. So 12 years, I know a little bit about living here. And if you want that help and advice, then I'll do it. Um, I've also done an e-book. So if you want to have a look at it, have a look at it up here. There's a, that's the e-book there uh, about online dating and the things to avoid. Now that's free. To all of the subscribers so all you need to do is subscribe send me an email to this along the bottom and i'll gladly give you this ebook for free because it'll help you navigate through the dangers of the newbies coming to thailand so if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down till the next time from les retire the limb of the dream bye for now